continuing with discussions, focusing our attention on the vulnerable groups. Joining us for more on ways to uh, stopping the spread of the pandemic is a doctor, Amina Ahmed, a public health physician, he joins us via Skype from Lagos. Thank you for joining us on the program. I must begin by asking how you think that we can handle the vulnerable uh, in a pandemic such as COVID-19. Yeah, good afternoon and thank you for having me. Um, in this, this is something that is quite peculiar to, and it's new that we are um, that is taking everybody aback. But then um, the governments would have to come out to do something about it in the sense that um, we have the vulnerable population, like you had mentioned earlier in the um, in your in your broadcast, that um, we have vulnerable groups from the IDPs, we have the widows, we have the um, children, elderly, and all of that. So, ordinarily, Nigeria should, should ordinarily have a social register, but we do not have an up to date social register that we can use. But then, what we um, the government is doing right now is to go through the community development um, associations to find out in, within the community who are those that are vulnerable people that are known to the community and make, make a list of them, such that um, palliatives or relief materials can be um, taken to them during this um, lockdown period. I'll be that we can reach everybody, but then at least the few that can be reached to, to give some support during this period, because many of them are day workers, some selling um, um, packaged water, some are selling um, things that could probably just earn them like 500 naira per day and all of that. Some earn less than, much less than that. So they would really need, and now they can't even sell. So they really need um, help coming from governments, coming from um, CSOs, some NGOs, and even people within the community, philanthropists that can come out to help these people would be a great go a long way. And a lot of people are actually coming out to do that. It's just that we can't reach everyone. Okay, database, very important. But then, Dr. Ahmed, we're also hearing from our correspondents in some of the remote areas that some people still don't believe there is a virus such as COVID-19 and that some of them are even going into hiding. Very true. People are, we, even within the, uh, not even rural areas, even within the urban areas, people don't still believe that COVID-19 is real. They, they, they see it as some sort of, um, uh, arrangement or so by the government. I don't know who would do that, but then that is what they are saying. They don't believe him. But then we, the government is also trying its best to go into the nooks and crannies. Our health educators are out there every day going about telling people and showing them that this is actually real. Just that, of course, 80% of those that will be affected will come out, um, um, you know, scot free. They would, they would, they would, they would uh, come out cured. They would have mild diseases, and there's only a few of them that would have um, severe cases that would go into the list we're having and what we're seeing as deaths and in our numbers that in Nigeria. All right, Dr. Amina Ahmed, public health physician, thank you for joining us.